What's up guys, the Matco truck just pulled up, so let's go take a look, see what Michael's got. Got two carts in, sold one, and now we're going to try to get rid of that one. You're a toolbox selling machine, aren't you? Toolbox is popular right now. <laughs> they are popular. Obviously. That's um, a good looking roll cart right there. Yeah, that's, uh, do you remember the rat thing when we had? Yeah. That's another one of those. Yeah. I was kind of a surprise deal, so we got it in. I'm going to push it back. I got a, uh, I've got a bigger toolbox coming. I'm gonna slide that one to the back door and do a package deal and put it there. So that's sharp the way they did that. I like that. On there. Has it got the logo and the lid and all that? It does. It? Yeah, it's got the Rat Pink logo on the lid. Y'all been busy? It ain't been too bad, but it's got the Rat Pink logo. Yeah, that thing is sharp right there. I like that. Y'all gonna take some time off for the Christmas? Yeah, we're gonna be off to Wednesday. Alright. Somebody left you. You be lying on, I bet it runs the battery down. Yeah. You can't even see it on the camera, but it's on. Somebody had it on. A lot of people I have found out don't know what a UV light is. So it amazes them when something purple is there. <laughs> like a disco light? Yeah, right. what's this? So you do what you can do, right? That's it. You're going to put that bad boy on the charger. Yeah, I didn't notice it was on. I'll, uh, I'll start charging it up tonight, though. Get it charged up, ready to go. Bill's on his way out here. On his way. Yeah, we've been trying to get all our paperwork and truck files done and all that good stuff for... There he is. ...for the end of the year. What yeah. up, Michael? Michael? I dread... Uh, I dread down here this year, but that is mm -hmm. what it is. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that, Bill? Pretty sharp. Pretty Yep. Matches your tattoo on the inside. Oh, no. I don't want to see it. It does? I don't want to see it. He don't want to see it, but he's pulling up on it. I got it locked. <laughs> I don't want to see it. Yeah, I got it locked up. Can't even let somebody you have to pull your sleeve up. That way everybody can see. Because I got it meant. Bill's tattoo guy is on point now. He's good, ain't he? He's real good. Golly, yeah, red paint. That's right. Show your tattoo next to it, Bill. There you go. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Where'd you get that done at? I got it. Used to be in Tupelo by the name of Curtis B. Singer. You can leave it open for right now. I got that phone. On top of it, so they ain't gonna hurt it. Can you get a decal like that? I can try my best. He said you can buy the decal and he'll give you the box. Nah, uh, okay. That way you even gotta put it on there. Okay. <clears throat> I'll pay decal price. Well, decal's high now. Nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> he said you don't get no discount just buying the decal. Woo. But you can pay for the decal. He'll ring it up as the decal and give you the t give you the box. That'd be pretty salty, I'm sure. Pass. There you go, Michael. Unload it today. <laughs> That's it. We ain't had a Matco toolbox unloading. Man, I'm toolbox poor for right now. We ain't had one in yet. That's kind of sad. We need to get you in one. He just got rid of a big purple one before you started. It wasn't long before you started, was it? What was that? Back in January, right before he had to take off. He just couldn't hold out. No. Right now, you gotta remember, Michael. We didn't have a Matco. Well, that's what I said. That's what well, I said. we had a Matco truck in town, but we didn't have a Matco there. <laughs> we got that fixed now, though. That's right. That's right. That's what matters. This fix now. And that's it. We uh, got a lot of things coming up, too. It's really good. Well, what you got new and exciting today? Man, I'm just going to start hiding all the new stuff. It can't make it to, to Friday's. Oh. 
Oh. Um, sold everything new already? Well, I had three new items, which they were all around the. Uh, I had some AC uh, new gauges for the new Freon, and then uh, I had a couple of new toys, and they just don't like. And believe it or not, I was off Monday and Tuesday, so what does that do? They went real quick. Man, but man, man. we uh, here in a couple of weeks, it's going to get interesting. You know. Uh, it's, have them at their conventions. We have our conventions. Ours is coming up, so we're gonna get a bunch of cool stuff on that. Pretty nice, ain't they? That's pretty nice. Isn't it? Well, yeah, I'm gonna put them screwdrivers on the sale. Which one? Okay. Well, uh, what, uh, you want an eight piece set or a five piece? I don't even want the damn fill I mean, the flatheads. <laughs> I think they quit making flathead screws like in the 50s, 40s, didn't they? Well, people, uh, still use them, but I'm not saying they use them for the right. Well, see, I own pry bars and I own chisels and I own center punches, so I don't need flatheads. <laughs> I got you. Uh, well, do you need flatheads? We might split a set. I'll nope. take the Phillips and you can have flatheads. Sure <laughs> don't. I, you know, I, I haven't thought about that, but I ain't really found a reason. To I don't know why they, I mean, I've got, I ain't gonna lie, I've got three sets of snap-on screwdrivers. And all of my Phillips, but they kind of got a little wire and dirt on the right. handles and stuff, you know. All my flatheads, and they're still brand new. I don't even know that I've taken some of them out of the box. I'm trying to think when I was a technician what I used them for. What I need to do is just buy the damn two Phillips and not have to worry about spending the money on the flatheads. There you go. That always works. It's probably cheaper to buy a set, though, ain't it? Um, nah, if you're just wanting two, it's probably not. It's probably cheaper just to go ahead and get the two. Well, you've got more automotive experience than, than I do, probably. Uh, the ball joint on an F-150. There's supposed to be a tool, and I'm not fixing to spend four or five hundred dollars on a full kit. There's supposed to be a tool to get those ball joints out. Mm. Well, it just depends on what, what you're on for. 2000 F-150. 2000. Old Black Betty out there. This is their band. Yeah. And Clay's got, uh, he got an F-250, the same year model. His or something. Well, his aren't that bad, but he's fixing to need them too. Yeah. Well, let's see. What's the price on that kit? Did 400. That, is it really? Yeah, it's 400 for that kit. But that's the master kit, so that does a lot of them. Um, I mean, there's there's a couple different ways people get them out. Um, that's one of the easiest ways. Let me see what all we have. You got a pickle fork up there? Yeah, I mean, we got pickle forks. Oh, that's what I was thinking about. That's an iron hammer bit one, too. Look. Uh, yeah. Uh, now, I have uh, a set of those, too. That make it. Yeah, I saw that. It makes, it's got three different size pickle forks and it can be an uh, air hammer or just a regular strike style. It's got two different sets on it. I'd be afraid I'd booger them threads up. What kind of price you get on that one? Well, let's see. Pickle fork. Why do they call it that? I reckon somebody eats pickles with that honey or something? It had to be whole pickles. You wouldn't be able to eat them slices. Mm -hmm. No. Let's slide right through. <laughs> and that's... You'd have to dump your koshers out on the table and <laughs> squeeze it up in there. I just eat my pickles with my fingers, don't you, Bill? Yep. What about you, Michael? Uh, yeah, when I eat pickles, I just eat them with my hands. That there is... Hold on a second, Bill. Let's see if we can't work something like that. Oh, there. no. That must be pretty saucy. Well, just hold on. Just, hold on. The step ones are nice. I think I'd rather buy the step ones than the... That's, that's got a variety of different sizes too. Yeah, I'm all about making deals, obviously. Deals. 
That's right. So that one right there is 60. This whole set's 92. So that's why. I, yeah. Thought might rock. Well, I think it's because of the set you get more discount price. That's why places get uh, better deals like Sam's and stuff like that. You know? I'm going to wait till after Christmas to do it. Probably after the first of the year. Well, you really don't want to do all that hard work right now, you know? I don't want to mess with all that right now. <laughs> that is a lot of hard work, ain't it? Well, he told me a couple of Saturdays ago we met in Tupelo and he said, You know what I did today? I said, Oh, no, of course, it's been raining all day. He said, Absolutely nothing. He said, I sat on my couch all day long. That's a new one for you, ain't it? So I that's... didn't feed no cows. I didn't go to the barn. I didn't do nothing. And it was amazing. Awesome. Cows are hungry then, right? No, they got they got feed. <laughs> I just didn't know. So that's my plan for this Saturday for sure. Well, that's my plan for this weekend, but I don't know how that'll work. Um, we gotta. Well, I know it's not gonna work because I haven't even started Christmas shopping yet for my wife. So. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Does she ever watch these videos? Uh, uh, yeah. Dude, you're screwed now. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not screwed until Christmas morning. <laughs> as long as she got it there. That's right. Time, right? That's like right. Santa Claus don't even leave the North Pole until everybody That's goes right. to sleep. So. That's <laughs> right. As far as my kids know, <laughs> uh, the Santa Claus is still making their stuff. So. That's right. I'm okay. Now, it's going to take me about 12 hours, probably, in Tupelo now. <laughs> hey, Bless I'm your eating. heart. Now, I'm just going to be honest with you, Michael. If I was you... I'd give her that pink and gray coat back there. Well, that's a pretty sharp looking coat. It is a sharp looking coat. And she should be proud to support the Maco name. Oh man, she's got so many Maco t-shirts and she's she's awesome at supporting it. She's she's good at that. What new bill? She get a present off this truck, wouldn't she? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you are right. She she's gonna have some Maco stuff. I mean, look, I got you a lot. <laughs> look how cool this lot is. <laughs> I will say that little blue stream light right there would make her day. She there you is, go. It's, it's and light. you ain't got to go to Tupelo to get it. That's right. Hey, and the Matco guy lets you make easy weekly payments on there. That's right. I hear we got a pretty good Matco guy. He'll let you pay whatever you can afford a week on that thing. He is pretty good. He's managed to show up just about every week since he started. Just about. When have I yeah. missed? That'd be one day. I missed, I missed y'all. Yeah, we was the stick sugar right, that week, I guess. You may not have. I don't know. Now you're going to do some digging. <laughs> Make him think. Like, I mean, it's high quality enough. Even a Harbor Freight would probably hold up, but I just can't stick to those standards. No, nah, you, you don't want to do that. He learned his lesson there. Yeah. You know what happens every time we pull out Harbor Freight, Bill? It ends up in the garbage. Because no, we don't need more to that no more. Because it's broke. Yeah. Like I quit taking crap bag on this. We just throw it away now. One's 22 and one's 24. How much the whole set? 64? No, the uh, set, the poppy set's 115. Oh my god. You know that was designed like that for, for that purpose? Mm -hmm. Well, not that purpose, but when you're breaking something loose. To be able to put one through it and break it loose. Is that a plastic handle all the way through? Yeah, that's like that right there. I guarantee you, if it can be broke, we can do it. What happens if you break it though? You bring it back, you're gnawing, right? All right, then. you good. Which they still have their spot for your adjustable wrench, but I can't tell you how many times. And it was always something to do with a flathead kind of hard to hold it down and push it, but. That is crazy high from that set. Well, Clay told me one time, you know who invented uh, Flathead Screwdriver? Who's that? The same guy that invented Band-Aid. Yeah. The guy, after, the week after he invented the Flatheads, he said, I figured it out, boys. Figured I've it got out. it figured out. And then the next week, he walked back in there and said, look, if y'all bought them screws, y'all need to buy these things here, they're called Band-Aids. So he had a marketing plan That's right it. off the bat then. Well, that's like the guy that sells the antivirus, that started the antivirus protection. Our radar detectors. Exactly. 
Sounds right. Hey, whatever works, though, right? They create the problem and then uh, create a solution. So yeah. man, Bill could go to Washington and we'd have the world's problem solved. And we'd do it probably for lunch with Bill. Yep. Well, they all cared. How's that? I gotta hear that. Uh, we just, look how quick we figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing too big for us, is it, Bill? Nope. <laughs> nothing too big. I got you. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to buy me a pair of them Matco screwdrivers. And uh, I guess that's going to be it today. Like always, look at that one of money Bill's got. Damn, he can pay too much. Like always, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. That way you won't miss nothing. It's totally free, and we'll catch you guys next time. Y'all have a great one.